didn't see either. Shall we begin reading The Irish Journey by my favorite author and favorite intellectual, Dwight Schrute? Let's begin. Long ago, in the year 1847, in Ireland, on a sad farm where the grass lacked life and the flowers looked sad, lived two great friends, Connor and Emily. Ireland was experiencing rough times and a horrible disease called late blight created the destruction of crops all throughout Ireland. The Great Famine had been going on for about two years now and the conditions were only getting worse. Connor and Emily are devastated and are worried sick for they depended on the crops for such a long time. Emily, what are we gonna do? Look, our whole farm is dying. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? Are all the farms being affected or just ours? Not just our farm, every farm is being affected. Connor, what are we going to do? You know, I was hearing Sam talking the other day. He said there's a lot of job opportunities in America. But our family is here. Yes, I know all our family is here. But our family isn't going to pay for our finances and our bills or our, all our necessities that we have here on the farm. So we have no other option but to go to America. Yes, and it will be amazing. We're gonna prosper there. It's America. Okay, well, we shall depart. When shall we depart? As soon as possible. You know what? We're gonna depart in three days. Connor and Emily are nervous, yet excited to start a new life in America. They are currently at the harbor, ready to aboard the ship that will take them to the land of opportunity. There are many more Irish immigrants around them waiting to aboard the ship as well. These people have also lost their farms and are desperate for new job opportunities. Hopefully we'll be able to find a good place to live in America while we find a job. Yeah, I doubt, I doubt that we'll have a hard time looking there. It's America, it's filled with great people who will want to help us. I've heard nothing but good things about America and hopefully it will be better than Ireland. I know, wait, wait, look, the ship is boarded, we gotta go, we gotta go. It's our journey begins. <laughs> Connor and Emily aboard the ship and begin their journey to America. The journey in the ship was very unpleasant because the ship was overcrowded and there were multiple families staying in the same area as Connor and Emily. However, it was bearable. The, they finally arrived to the America at Ellis Island and are greeted by White, a grouchy racist employee at Ellis Island. He hates his job but doesn't quit because he needs money. Emily, we're here! In America, we we're here. It. We made it. Period along, I don't have all day. Uh, okay. uh, Excuse me? Nothing. Just hurry up. The immigration process takes long. I don't have enough energy for you guys. What? Why, why are you so rude? Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Do not try this at home. No chromie was harm in the making of this video. Remember. There is no excuse for Chromebook misuse. Don't call me rude, I'm an American. Emily and Connor don't know how to respond to the amount of rudeness oozing out of this grouchy man. They then do, as he says, an entering room where the immigration process begins. The immigration process is very difficult and lengthy. Finally, the immigration process is over. Our job search shall begin tomorrow. It shouldn't be hard to find a job around here. Man, I just hope we don't encounter any more rude Americans tomorrow. Wait, wait, look. I see a sign on the grocery store. It says they're hiring. Let's go in and talk to the owner. Let's go. Uh, Connor and Emily entered the grocery store and behind the counter stood the owner. The owner's name was Brittany. She was a mean, grouchy lady who was not fond of the immigrants. Her explanation was that she didn't like how immigrants were taking jobs away from the true Americans. <clears throat> Hello, Matt. Uh, so we saw a sign outside your window. It said you have job openings. Do you have any job openings here for us? Who are you? 
Well, my name's Connor, and this is Emily. And we had a big famine back home in Ireland, and we were just hoping if we can get a job here. Who do you think you are? You're immigrants. You don't belong here. John overhears the conversation. He is currently shopping for groceries and doesn't understand why Brittany is being so rude to the immigrants. John is a rich man and is looking for workers to hire to help him out around his house and for any work he needs to get done. He is a very kind and understanding American who welcomes immigrants and wishes them nothing but the best. He chimes in the conversation. Excuse me, but you have no right to talk to them like that. They are people too, you know? <clears throat> Thank you so much for helping us, but I mean, I guess our kind is just not welcome in this country. Why are you helping them so much? Can't you see they're a threat to our country? First, they're stealing Americans' jobs, and we're gonna soon be outnumbered by them. You have to be more understanding. I will no longer be a customer to someone like you. Come on, guys, I will go find you guys a job. Yeah, let's go. Thanks, man. I am a wealthy American, and I am looking for two workers. Would you guys like to work for me? At this moment, Connor and Emily are very happy to hear that an Ameri a genuine American is willing to help them out. Yes, of, of course. course. Thank you so Thank much. you. White, the grouchy man, comes out of nowhere and sees that John is offering the immigrants jobs. He is infuriated and grabs the nearest rock and is ready to throw it at Connor. John, why are you helping these people out? They don't deserve it. All they do is steal American jobs. I am helping them out because they need jobs and they need to provide for themselves. They could go provide for themselves in their own country. Oh! Be gone, you invader. Uh, I can't breathe. I can't see. At this point, poor Connor was on the floor in excruciating pain, and Emily runs to help him. However, Connor is paralyzed on the floor. Connor does, however, say his last words to his dear friend Emily, something he always wanted to tell her, but barely got the courage to tell her now. Connor! I, I, uh, uh, uh. When Emily hears Connor's last words, she quickly turned white as snow, as in a state of shock. She doesn't know how to react at the moment. So many things happened at once. Connor now closed his eyes and is on the floor. His heart stops beating. I love you too. Society, immigrants are still being discriminated against. People say they aren't American or they are stealing American jobs or that they don't belong here. All these statements are false. America is built upon immigrants, and being characterized as an American does not rely on your identity, yet relies on what you do to contribute to society. People migrate to America to establish a better life. Let's stop the discrimination and allow those people to prosper in this beautiful country where possibilities are endless.